just a disclaimer before I start this, um, I don't know anything about furries. I, I, Greg uses some weird, like, la furry language in this. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's about. And I, I don't, like, I don't, like, hate anybody based on, like, what they are, but, like, I, I don't know furry stuff, so, like, I, I don't know why I'm reading this either, because it's a really weird book. But thankfully, Greg isn't a furry all the way through, because it's a very painful read. Anyway, thank you for 5,000 subscribers, and let's get straight into Diary of Wimpy Kid Greg the Furry. September. Monday. Three days before Rain First Owo. Hey, what is an Owo? I always see that. What's an Owo? Or an Uwu? I don't know what that is. I'm really sick of my family. They won't support me finally going out of my room and going to conventions, and are really disrespectful to me. Yesterday, Roderick, who is really attractive, by the way, hey, can't argue with that, just punched me again, even though I made it clear to him that I don't like spontaneous BDSM. BDSM? Isn't that like Black Death Suicide Metal or something? I don't know. You freaking furry. My brother Roderick. He knows about my humiliation fetish. Don't worry about the lack of yif drawing. What's a yif drawing? Every two pages will be lewd UWU, but the rest will describe my experience as an oppressed member of society. Omo. Friday. Why is this page so small? I know I'm supposed to post furry yif on every even page, but today while I tried to film a scene, Roderick said, what the hell are you doing, Greg? I thought you'd clean the toilet. Then, sh you're so hot, Roderick. Then he shooed me away and said, whatever, it's not like I expected you to be a valuable member of society. I mean, he doesn't cooperate with my yifs. I could just do it alone. Also, disclaimer, thankfully Greg isn't a furry for the whole thing of this book. Only like the first five pages and then, I don't know if he's a furry later, but if he was a furry the whole way through, I would not be reading this because this is very painful for me. Saturday. I'm so excited. O W O. I'm just going to say OVO because Drake. Shout out to Drake. OVO tomorrow was going to be rain first and I told everyone in my class about it, but they reacted weird. Yeah, you trip him, Shirag. You trip him. I just finished putting all the, oh, like, I, all the, the, the uh, all the, I'll just say phallic objects and stuff in the backpack. Mom says I'm a big boy for finally going outside. I got so hyped, I even forgot to sleep in my fursuit. UWU. Okay, like, what the, I, uh, okay, the, this whole page, like, this is, pro this is all blurred out because, like, it's all just, like, I, I, this would just get taken off of YouTube immediately, like, it, 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 let's just say, Greg, this guy, um, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah, he don't say he's at furry con and he's doing his thing, he's having fun, because I can't read any of this. Okay, this is not any better. Whatever. Sunday. Today was one of the, today was day one of Rainforest. It was exactly like I hoped it'd be. Vibrator noises. After the group, the, uh, the, the group session, we got together and slept in our sleeping sacks. Yes, we tried YIF, but the evil Beardo guy didn't allow midnight, uh, sessions. O-M-O. O-M- O-M- Yeah, I don't know what that is. I shared my toys with my furry friends and we played together in the group room if you know what I mean. I think we all know what you mean, Greg. I, I don't think you're fooling anybody. I already love rain first. I can't wait for the next few days. Maybe I'll even get to use the glory hole someone drilled in a door. O-V-O. Saturday. You might be wondering why I haven't continued my diary for a while. Well, it has for this one simple reason. I'm ashamed of it. Thank you. Oh, it's over. After Rowley accidentally hit my head at Furcon, the first thing I noticed was how I was surrounded by a bunch of degenerates. Then it hit me. I suddenly wasn't a furry anymore. It's like my IQ score just doubled instantly. So I left Furcon and threw all of my furry stuff away in my room. The next thing to do will probably be deleting my search history, because holy crap, I really have to puke every time I open Google. Sunday. Holy crap. If you're reading this right now, you probably believe what I, you probably won't believe what I'm saying, but wow. Today a group of furries tried to beat me up. It's like they're part of some kind of mafia organization or something. As if they felt betrayed because I left the furry community. The fact that I outright told them that there's some degenerates might have something to do with it. But I got my arm bro bro broken right after swimming class. But I still don't think I deserve that treatment. Jeez Louise, these guys are like a cult. Why'd you betray us? Why? Monday. I really must say that I'm proud of what I did last night. 
After I finished writing in my diary, I sneaked into the school and hung up anti-furry posters as a reaction to my arm getting broken. It hurt really much, to really freaking much to tape those per posters on the wall, but it was definitely worth it. Seriously, those faces of the furries at our school are unimaginable. I'm extremely lucky, lucky I separated myself from that community. Right now, I'm planning my next big thing against those degenerates, and boy, that one will be priceless. Bulldoze furries. Stop furries now. No OVO zone. Oh, no, why not OVO, bro? I love Dake. I, I, I think I got mixed up. No OO zone, sorry. Tuesday. Well, hello, UWU. I must tell you about a bad thing that happened. OMO, I accidentally hit my head again at my room, and now I'm full on furry. Now my dad seems like he's crying because he's so proud. I invited my furry friend to yiff me in the basement, and when they did the usual foreplay, dad said, What the hell, Greg? Has he why is your IQ dropped to 4 again? They said they were very happy to see me again. I'm sad that there will be no conventions in my area. Because of that, I plan my own now. Bye. Wednesday. Hello again. I'm preparing for the yif in the basement as I'm writing on this page. What is a yif? What is he? Why does he keep saying that? What does that mean? But first I have to send Rally out of the house. U-W-U. Not for kids. I'm not saying U W. I'm not saying the, th the what U W spells. You have self respect. I'm sorry. Okay, so you might be wondering why I suddenly stopped there. The reasons why I, I hit my head again while writing the entry, and now I'm really scared. Do I have a personality I don't know about? Holy crap! Come yiff us, Greg. Oh, and the yiff friends. I forgot about them. Wednesday. I told my mom that I was sick. But in reality, I just needed some rest. I spent most of the time thinking about what's happening to me. Why am I constantly switching between furry and decent person? Do I need a psychologist? I have no idea. I'm looking kind of scared. I think I don't want to risk ever drive a bike if that means there's a risk I suddenly become a mongoloid again. So when I cleaned the hallway, mom forced me to, there was a heavy knocking on the door. Just one look through the window showed me that the furries are on the hunt again. Looks like I need a hiding spot. Thursday. I just finished working on what I proudly called the intelligence keeper. Basically, it's an old, oh, it's an old, um, uh, okay, uh, I, I, I can't say that. An old, um, fat, we'll just say phallic object again, on which I sawed the, the, the basketballs off, but boy, does it punch heads well. I tested on Rowley and he winced in pain and said he probably had a concussion. I found a perfect hiding spot in case the furries are hunting me again. But I'm not stupid enough to write it down in the book. I'll for now just write in this journal that the plan I was talking about earlier made some progress. Let's see if it'll work. Friday. Even though I have all my tools to survive, I still need to understand my second personality. Because of that, I went to over to Rally to knock me over the head and then, after letting me write in my journal, knock me over again. He said something about not being out for revenge or some crap, but I told him it's just what friends do to each other. He finally agreed when I told him I'll punch him in the head twice after the experiment. Let's see the results. I'm really anticipated on what my furry thinks of this right now. Still Friday. Hi, this is Rowley writing. Greg me told me to write ev down everything weird he does. Okay, for a second I thought Rowley become a fur became a the furry, and I was just, oh, that was, that was, that was no, 13th reason, honestly, bro. Rowley's too pure for this. Anyway, so I guess I'll use the diary he brought for it. I hope he won't mind. The first thing he did was to call his friends and invite them to yif. Okay, what is that? I feel like that's something inappropriate. Should I be saying that? I don't know what that- what is yif? However, it looks like he was refused, so he proceeded to take his weird rubber thing and shove it up his poopy hole. He screamed, yif me daddy ovo while doing so. Then he peed milk all over the floor. No idea- whoa, 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 whoa. I read it, but I didn't read it, if you know what I mean. Like, I was- I was saying the words, but I wasn't comprehending for a second. Uh, I'm at a loss for words right now. Anyway, I don't know how, but he, he, he peed milk. It was sticky, and he was, said it was for breeding. OWU. I think the experiment is done, so I'll hit him over the head again after I finish writing. I don't want to hurt him. Bro, hurting him isn't enough, bro. This is too much. Saturday. Nice to see you again. Rowley refused to hit my head a second time. No! No! Why, Rowley? Why? Why? You had one job. No, please, no more of this. I can only take so much. Anyway, I still want to yiff. 
I, uh, like, I, like, like, I'm, 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 why, 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 like, I can't read any of this, I'm sorry, like, this isn't, this ain't YouTube friendly, bro, like, what, what is he, what is he got talking about, bro, he, he, oh, that's okay, you know what, you guys could fill in the blanks, I blank in the, fur I blanked in the furnace room, dad thankfully caught me, but I was extremely lucky, I think I just heard some grunting noises coming from the furnace room, yeah, you guys could fill in the blanks there. This intelligence keeper is not enough for my y yif hole, OWU. So I'm going to invite my fur fellow furry friends to blank furry blank OVO. I'm so glad Rally didn't hit my head so I can fulfill my bl my uh, chicken snuzz nuzzling dream. Until tomorrow, bye. I don't want tomorrow. I want I want to go to bed. Sunday. What is happening? Why are all my furry friends against me? I tried to invite them to an, uh, uh, a session in my house a second time, and they still refused. I don't get it. I thought everyone likes me, and my... Fr and my uh, I thought everyone likes me. I'll just leave it at that. A week ago, they should have... They should have... Uh, I, what? What is the guy yapping about? A week ago, they should have... What is this symbol? I don't know. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know furry stuff. I'm sorry. One of them even tried to beat me up. I can't believe it. What did I do wrong? They said they were betrayed by me, and I wasn't welcome to yif again. But why? What does OMO mean with those weird accents? I don't know. I was always very loyal to my fellow furries, and now they turn it around? I need to research, and then I can find out why. Until tomorrow. Monday. I didn't know school starts again, so I was finally able to see my other friends. They reacted kind of weird. Even the dog of some stranger didn't like to yif me. Yif me. What? That's weird as hell. What the hell? I quickly noticed I needed to research on this. So I'm going to ask Rowley what happened in the last days. I really don't remember anything. I just want to be able to yif again. I hope Dad doesn't find out about this and he will say that I'm a degenerate again. You are a degenerate, Greg. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this either, Greg. Tuesday. Today, we had to listen to the school principal. He said us furries are degenerates and subhumans. Why is this again? I just want to yif omo and t please help me. I'm stuck inside a furry personality. Just hit my head, please. To be accepted by other people. By the way, I found a furry proof shelter. Well, not anymore. Beat a furry station. Okay, well, you know, Greg, keep fighting. I know you're in there. Let's break through. Somebody help him, bro. This is a cry for help. Also, I'm getting a headache reading, like, his weird writing. Why does he write all his R's as W's? It's starting to tick me off. And why does he write umu in between every sentence? What is this OMO MO business? Somebody explain, like, you know what? I'm just, whatever, I'm just gonna keep going. Wednesday. Today something weird happened. I woke up in the classroom after I passed out at rallies and wondered how I got there. It was a Friday afternoon after all. After they looked at me weird, they told me it was Wednesday and that Mr. Dick's, uh, Mr. Discusk was going to send me out of the classroom for being a degenerate. After school, I immediately went to my secret place to find out when the furries vandalized it. And boy, screw me in the eye holes, the walls were uh, sticky. I really need a better hiding spot. Thursday, I found another secret hiding spot in the forest after lots of searching. It's twice as much away from my home than the first one, but it's more secure in the woods. In the meantime, I always practiced furry language. Learn how to speak furry fluently. I talked about a big plan earlier in this journal, and no, I did not forget it. I mean, I did, but I remembered it while I was carrying all my stuff to the new shelter. And trust me, that plan will go in history. Friday. Everything's going as planned. Unless I hit, unless I get hit again, there'll be nothing stopping my master scheme. Bro, somebody get this man a helmet, please. Come on, Greg, I'm rooting for you right now. I've never been more invested in seeing this guy win, because I, don't, I want this over. But we're not even a third through, but we're close. The last thing I need to take care of is dad. He constantly checks me to see if I'm still degenerate. I don't want him to know that I am in fact not a mongoloid anymore, but I'm planning to betray them. Has anyone seen my pants? Speaking of dad, occasionally I wonder if he's secretly a furry. I mean, him losing quote unquote his pants this dinner was really suspicious, but I could just be wrong, or I must concentrate on my plan and not dad. Saturday. My suspicions are confirmed now. Dad is a secret furry. He hid it really well until now. And I must admit it, 
but after I intentionally made sure he was never alone in a room for hours, he apparently couldn't keep it anymore. I'm quoting from my notebook. At 3.45 p.m. in the backyard of my house, I caught Dad deep-throating a phallic object. He claims he quote-unquote fell on it. That's why my plan might have to wait. I have to convert Dad into not being a furry. Sunday. As I said yesterday, I need to stop Dad from becoming a furry to act out my plan against them. Today I tried to evacuate, uh, to educate him about why furries are total degenerates, but I don't think he seems to get it, so instead I tried to teach him physically. I called some furry friend in my phone list and told him to mess around my dad's garden with me. Dag nab you rotten teenagers. However, dad's still a furry. Maybe he need to hit his head. Wait, what if he has like the same thing as Greg where like he's a furry sometimes and sometimes he's not? Alright, third through. Just have to do that two more times. But I'm going to take a small break. Just ask guys, how are you doing? Hope you guys having a great day. We you guys are having, get, get some snacks, watch this video. Yeah, anyway, let's keep going. I don't want more of this, but whatever. You're welcome, guys. Sacrificing my own sanity for this. Monday. I can now con officially confirm that I turned down to being sensible again. All I needed to do was call a bunch of furries on my phone and tell them that there's a furry hater living in my grandma's house. Then I invited Dad to visit Grandma. I got out with her to play bingo and left just in time before the furries arrived, ready to knock someone's head, just like I wanted. Honestly, I feel kind of bad for that, but I need to remind myself that this is crucial for my plan. Wednesday will be glorious. Tuesday. My preparations were easier than I thought they would be, so I instead went to Grandma for some free self-made cookies. As I sat there eating, I thought about how weird it was that Dad happens to be a furry just like me, and that his furry personality can be easily turned off by hitting his head. I wonder if Roderick's a furry too, or Mom or anyone else. After executing my revenge against the degenerates, I should really take the time to study each and every one of my family and see if they're secret furries too. Now that I think about the possible fear furry gene, how far does it go in my family tree? Maybe cavemen like phallic shaped rocks too. Tuesday. So uh, yeah. My attack didn't go as planned. In fact, it wasn't even really an attack in the first place, more like something like a, pr a prank YouTuber would do. Turns out a machine gun isn't in the price range of a video game, but about 20 times more than that. Hey, Ray, you're in the US, bro, you can find a gun easy. Well, then, we then tried to buy one in the dark net for cheaper, but then we remembered that no one actually knows how to get into it, so we had to do budget cuts. We bought about a dozen back packages of toilet paper. I mean, some of us still had fun, but it just wasn't the same. I wish I had money. Thursday. Now that I write this page, me saying yesterday that I need more money seems kind of prophetic at this point. I was contacted by a group named Gamers Against Furries, who claims it has the resources to help out in my attacks against the fur fanatics. I was a bit skeptical, but I still went to the address they gave me, and oh man, I sure love these swimming pools they have. The group consists of about, of about 30 teens ranging from the age of 14 to 18. That doesn't stop them from having actual guns and other weapons I could only dream of having. It tells me I could have one too, if I do them a favor. Let's see what this is about. Friday. No, 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 please don't let it not be so. Hello again. I'm fin finally furry me is back, and I want yif again. It's a little weird that I don't remember anything the last week, but that doesn't matter. In fact, the first thing I remember is that I was hanging from a tree, half naked, but I somehow didn't like it. There were fellow furries watching. I think they're from a secret furry gang. Maybe I tried to spy on them, then I fell on the ground and hit my head. Saturday. Hi. Another day has begun, and I went to my computer to look up yif. But there was a strange address, and I still went there. Wait, I'm starting to I'm starting to like realize what I think. I'm starting to have some ideas as to what like yif is. So I don't know what OMO means, and why does he keep writing in between like every sentence? Starting to tick me off. I still went there. There were gamers against furry. Not good. They asked me, "What's wrong, Greg?" I said nothing. But I just want yif. Then then they said, "Holy crap! Someone hypnotized Greg or something." And then they said it was all Jim's fault. But I don't know any Jim. I just hit my head. But do they know? They said they would dehypnotize me. I'm so confused. Sunday. The hypnotization worked. Somehow. Oh my goodness. Gamers against furries coming in clutch. Let's go. While that guy was trying to st he set me in a trance, I fell into sleep and hit my head on the ground. So now those guys from Gamers Against Furries think they did hypnotize me within five minutes, which makes me a perfect subject for more hypnosis tests to make me a hitman without morality or somehow. Great. The last thing I wanted was to be a killer that's a vegetable on the inside. 
I need to get away from those guys, but how? Monday. I successfully escaped gamers against furries. I didn't know what exactly they were planning to do with me, but I saw that part of the fence without spiked wire and instantly took the opportunity. Boy was I close to being detected. Now what do I do? I considered changing my identity and moving to a new country, but then furry me wouldn't remember my old self. Maybe I need the furries to attack, attack uh, gamers against furries? Let's just see what will happen. Tuesday. Well, it turns out convincing a bunch of furries to try and beat up a gang of gamers is harder than I thought it would be. It seems to be okay to not know more than the basics of furry culture, but the more you climb up the ladder of power, the more important it seems to be to have advanced knowledge in the field, because only a really powerful furry can command the rest to do such an invasion. I need to study the lore of these degenerates. Jeez Louise. And, like, these books are all just, like, this is just, in a, this is just furry versions of, like, classics, I guess. I say classics, but I haven't read any of them, so, I don't know. Wednesday. I'm actually just starting to consider faking being a furry now. I took one look at the Twitter of one of the most powerful furries, and I must say that it really looks like a hell of a good life. One of those guys even has his own private jet. Then again, wait, hold, no, eh, yeah, I'm gonna say Kanye reference right here. If you know, you know. Two Kanye references, actually. Sorry, I had to say it. Then again, I'm not sure if I wanted to spend the rest of my life being surrounded by degenerates who non-stop yiff each other. On top of that, there will always be the most constant risk of me being exposed as, a normal, exposed as a normal person. Maybe I could bring Rally to hit my head before and after I go to the club? Thursday. This time I actually have nothing interesting to write about, so I'll rather bring something up that has been bothering me for some time. I'm getting confused to who I really am. I mean, I love that I'm a normal person now, but is that really my true self? After all, as far as I know, I was a furry since I was born and only recently discovered this side of my personality. When I look into the mirror, I can't recognize either of my known personalities. It's actually freaking me out a bit. Or I just have multiple personality disorder. Hell if I know. Well, I don't know why this page is so small, but it's like my third time reading it because I had like, I was having a stroke trying to like actually like comprehend what the hell this means. Anyway, I, you guys will see what I mean. Alright, bad news. I was asleep last night, uh, 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 do, doing my thing, let's just say, to this picture of Holly, and I guess I was distracted and fell off my bed. So of all places to fall, it was my head, and I became a furry. According to the date, I was only a furry for a day or two, but a lot must have happened since then. The first thing I found was in my nightstand when I was getting off Rowley. It's broken for some reason, circular in the middle, when I noticed something next to it. What does that mean? What does that sentence mean? I was getting it off Rowley, it's broken for some reason, circular in the middle, I know something else. What does that mean? Somebody tell- I, I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully that's not important. There it was. Just lizard, uh, lizard, uh, the phallic thing. It was really disgusting and it had a little yiff juice on it. I wonder what else I did while I was a furry. It shouldn't affect my relationship with the furries, actually. It really helped our little relationship, but they might have noticed that I'm acting more of a furry then, than usual. Huh. Fragley showed up to my door. Why is he? Thanks. What? For last night. What happened last night? Did you for already forget? We yiffed. What? What the hell? When I was a furry, me and Fragley, uh, d d d yiffed? On my way to school, I noticed I also had a crap in the middle of the road. I took a crap in the middle of the road. Fermi wrote his name on it. I tried my best not to look, but then I really hate this side of me. Maybe there's a way to make it go again. Maybe therapy. Rally isn't here. I'm done. I'm, I'm just about done with this book. I, I don't want more of this. Wow, it feels like Saturday. Wow, it feels like it's been a long time even though my second last page was written yesterday. There's been an in-between one, but it somehow doesn't feel like I wrote it. Weird. My font has also changed for some reason. No idea why I wrote it differently on the fa previous pages. Maybe laziness. But the most important thing is that, I don't know, Dad checks my diary to check, check on my degeneracy. Maybe he, he's just reflecting, but I think it correlates with the decision I had with him yesterday about how yif is necessary for human advancement. Yeah, I hit my head on the coffee table. Of course, I know it's not okay for him to do that, but to be honest, I want to make sure that Dad helps me in case I'm a, my furry self again. I think I'll tear out my NSFW page so he doesn't get too disappointed with me, and remind myself that I can't write NSFW anymore. See you tomorrow, Dad. Sunday. It could just be me trying to be philosophical again. 
but I feel like a large portion of myself went away with me ripping out my NSFW pages. First, I was relieved that my degeneracy has been at least partially wiped from history, but I also have this feeling. It's a weird feeling, and I can't really describe it, but it's stopping me from putting the ripped pages into the trash can. It's like a part of me gets erased. I don't understand that feeling, since this part of me is obviously way different. But then I remember that I was originally a furry. In fact, me being a sensible person is completely new to my psychology. I locked myself in the bathroom so I could think about all this in silence. I'm currently writing from here. Maybe I can decide what my true self I, self really is. Me praying to God that I could find my true self again. Yeah, just, bro, find God because this ain't it, chief. Monday. And it didn't matter. Dad found my NSFW pages and threw them in the trash. I know those are just pages, but it also feels like it has some symbolic importance in my life. Bro, it's never that deep. What is this guy going on about? All those records about my furry and me are now my furry me are now gone. Not just my recent ones, but every single pay I one I made in my life before I became sensible for the first time is now in the trash. Wow. All those memories of me. All of my documentations about my furry self, all the relics that if someone I used to be, gone. Feels kind of weird, but I miss my old self. Okay, you're tripping, Greg, but I say hallelujah, bro. This is, no, no, I don't want any more of this. Please, no more of this. Tuesday. Well, Jesus H. Christ. I arrived at school, and the first thing they did was to call me Mr. Yif. Hey, Mr. Yif. I'm so tired of being seen as a degenerate and being bullied for it. Back when I was a furry, I didn't care. I think I actually thought it was kind of hot, but... I can't know it exactly because Dad threw away all the pages from my furry self. I know you're reading this. Screw you, Dad. But what can I do? I'm just a guy with a mental disorder. In fact, I'm not even my true self right now because my real true self is my furry side, no matter if I like it or not. But my furry self is at least happy and it didn't care about being degenerate. Maybe me being furry is better. What do I do now, Greg? For, for both of our sakes, just please, no, I don't want to read more furry pages. Please, like, no... I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight, Greg. This has single-handedly taken down my mental health, Anange. Wednesday. So things escalated today with me call being called Mr. Yif again. I snapped and beat it up some kid who thought it was funny, then I was suspended from school for one day. When I arrived home, I discovered a strange letter with a text, by GAF, screw furries on it. I think those guys are the guys wanting to hunt me, I think. Are they now offering me something nice? Anyways, here's the letter they sent me. Psst, we're having a lock-in this, oh, sorry, this Wednesday night. You're invited to a night of supervised fun in the middle, middle school auditorium. The event goes from dusk till dawn and the features games and prizes. Chaperones needed. Fun. Games. Admission is $5 and all proceeds will go to Gamers Against Furries. It could be a trap, but I'm also not, I'm also sure they know I'm not a furry right now. So I'm not too concerned about that. See you, Dad. Thursday. Well, screw me sideways. The GAF meeting was a trap. When I was in the slides, some kids jumped at me and put a syringe inside me. I have no idea what that stuff does, but at least I'm not dead right now. They kicked me out of the building after threatening to murder me and my entire family in case I snitch on them, and then I was alone. Oh, and Dad, if you're reading this, don't call the police. It's just fiction, I swear. Don't tell anybody about this. Please. I'll just see what this stuff does to me, I guess. Friday. Dad apparently saw me through my lies in the last page because he this, because just because just then he went and took me to the hospital to get checked. The doctor said he was lucky that we were lucky the needle was sterile and that they found out what the mysterious liquid was. It's a chemical called Antius furius that prevents people from becoming a furry. However, it doesn't cure furryism. He said that I was lucky they were just volunteers trying to prevent degeneracy, which my parents agreed on. We didn't get to the police because they think it was a good thing I injected this stuff. But to be honest, I'm actually mad I have the liquid inside of me. I just want to be my old self and not have worries anymore. I don't even care if I'm degenerate that way. I just want to be happy. Alright, hold on. I, 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 I missed it, but that Frank design on the last page with like his tie loose and that was super cool. I'm not too much big of a fan of the story so far, for obvious reasons, but that was a dope design. Saturday. Apparently the doctor telling my parents I'm not a furry anymore just wasn't enough for them. I found this under my pillow today. Just the cover and title alone told me everything about the book. Tales You Lose by I Am Spooky. Hey, that's a cool use of the original. 
story, original art from the Diary of Kid books. And that's two compliments in one minute from this book. That's like, it's on a roll. I read the book, but it honestly feels like it's some anti-furry propaganda. The story is about a furry who discovered magic tales and then get goes to town and f screws everything up. The happy end is him being killed by the non-furry protagonist. Maybe they're trying to convince me that I shouldn't go back to being a furry again. Well, Dad, you failed, because now I want to become a furry, my furry self again even more, and you won't stop me. In other words, I'm running away from home. Good dub bye, Dad, but I want to be myself. No, gosh, please, no! Sunday. Now that my, was that a good Michael Scott impression, by the way? I, th I think it was pretty good. Sunday. Now that my friends aren't reading my diary anymore, I can tell you some personal things. Dear diary, maybe this is just me venting about my past life, but the knock on my head at the furry convention was actually a change for the worse. Now that I'm looking bad at it, I mean back when I was a furry, I was a degenerate, I know, but I didn't care, know or care I was. My furry self maybe got enjoyment out of deviant activities, yeah that's an understatement, but at least I was happy. But now, I'm driving away from my parents with a car I stole from them. I learned how to drive in the how to yiff while driving course. Now, and all I have is my family's swimming gear I found in the car trunk. Some groceries I hastily stole before the police could find me, and some weird cars with my old personas on it. They're sticky. Just please, get me out of this hell called non-furry life. Monday. It's day two of my escape from my parents and things are already not looking well. I went to the event hall where I hit my head for the first time for old time's sake, but it just wasn't how I thought it was. There was a, currently a farmer's convention with a pig race outside. One of them got lost, as far as I could tell. The pig destroyed half of my ra rations before I was able to catch him. Great, so now I only have about two days of food before I either starve to death, confess to the police, or steal out of the store again, which is extremely risky. In an act of desperateness, I slaughtered the pig, hoping no one will notice blood on the grass and cooked up the meat and cooked up meat with a camping grill. It tasted bland and probably was overcooked, but I'll have to live with that the next few days. I'm hoping some kind of luck will strike me. Otherwise, it's over. It's Jover. Tuesday. Today I discovered something interesting. I looked out of my car and saw a strange building with pipes as well as a pool beside it. GAF Laboratory. As the sign says, it appears to be a laboratory by gamers against furries. It looks like an abandoned water park. Judging by the slides that are probably used as chemical pipes in the pools that now act as storage for all kinds of liquid, when I first saw all of this, all my, fir my first reaction was to run away in hopes I haven't been seen already. But now that I think about it, there could be an anti-chemical to the liquid inside of it. I'll check that place out. Wednesday. I spent hours going around the area, hiding from guards and searching for security gaps before I was able to find a, a way to go to and from the laboratory building without being caught. As it turns out, there's a manhole near the highway that connects to the GAF laboratory. That way I could get into the area undetected and start infiltrating the fence from inside. I used that opportunity to go in w to, and went to the GAF area, but sadly there are guards in front of the two towers themselves, which means I have to be creative in, again to get inside. Luckily there's a pipe going into the ground that sounds like it's rarely used, maybe even completely unused. I should break a secret hole into the pipe. That won't be finished until tomorrow. Up until that, I need to acquire food for the next few days, because I just ate my last self-made pork sandwich and I'm still really hungry. Wednesday. I forgot about the security camera. Daily Fur Herald. Furry Rob store. 14-year-old furry Greg G Greg Hefley walked this morning to 7 Eleven. Okay, why are you seeing from a 7 Eleven? Like, come on now. You could like like you could actually like you could steal from like a like a like a grocery store and like those are way bigger which means more space to cover so that it'll be easier to not get seen like come on this is basic stuff like i'm not even like a criminal or anything but like i feel this is common knowledge and this guy this guy did it armed too he was carrying a gun that appears to have been the same one had been stolen from a guard at the gaf laboratory and threatened to shoot everyone in the building because they won't give him his demands he stole food, money, and clothing, and is still on the run. Any information on his location will be appreciated by the police. That's some rookie, that's some rookie hoot nanny right there. Because, like, why are you sticking up a 7-Eleven? It's not that deep. All that effort in stealing a gun, planning the heist, and robbing the store, and I forgot about the camera. Now it'll be even harder to infiltrate the lab because they know that I'm around them. Judging by the increased amount of guards near the fence, 
I'll assume they'll increase security because of my dumb mistake, but I can't give up. I nearly finished making a hole into the pipe and they have all the plans already. It's not impossible to stop now. Hey, page 50. Only like 19 more to go, or 20 more to go. <sighs> okay, we're, we're so close. Kind of. But, hey, this, these last like a little bit of pages, these are the most coherent to read because at least he isn't speaking like a furry. Friday. Despite my dumb mistake, I managed to finish and cover up the hole undetected. Then I drove my car to a hidden location, gathered some food as well as my gun, and made my way into the area. The pipe smells like it's full of chemicals I can't pronounce the name of. Alright, you know what? I'm sorry, but I have to say this, bro. If you're committing a crime, why are you documenting this, bro? I know it's I know it's diary of a wimpy kid, but like come on now. This is like it's like that one guy who like killed a cop car or you know, who killed a cop or something, and then they found him and you know, they didn't have any evidence on him, but they found they found in his pocket a paper with lyrics talking about how he did the crime. Like, you know? It's like with a one MF Doom line. Rap snitches. Telling all I don't remember what it is, but yeah, you guys get the point. Anyway, sorry. I don't know. That was my PSA. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. When I eventually read the to reached the top of the pipe, quickly went down to the first room I saw and hid behind a shelf. I have no idea how long I was waiting there, but over the hours, less and less people entered the room until a group of guards did a quick routine search in the evening. Luckily, they were lazy as crap, so I wasn't found. I spent the rest of the evening exploring the now empty building, mapping out the rooms, looking for keys for locked doors, and so on. Currently writing in the pipe that smells like it has dangerous chemicals in it. Hopefully they won't use this one to pump acid or toxic gas through it tomorrow. I'm really tired right now, so I'll find a way out tomorrow. I can't go through the sewers because I'm pretty sure there are night guards in them now. Good night, dear diary. Hopefully I won't die in here. Saturday. Dear diary, or journal, I guess. Today I nearly died. I slept in the seemingly unused pipe when suddenly at around 7 a.m., some scientists thought it was a great idea to pump some weird gas through that exact pipe. I instantly woke up and panically ran out the pipe, but I instantly got caught. I swear, security guards are getting young as crap these days. They threw me into a locked room with windows and told me I was allowed to keep my diary. They also said I wasn't getting executed, but they were running some tests on me. Now hear me out, GAF. Because you'll be secretly reading my pages at some point, I know what you mean with these tests due to the fact that I was with one of your outposts for a while, but do you really think I'll fall for the same trick two times? Let me out of this torture chamber. March 12th, Sunday 2019, JAF Laboratory. The effects of psychochemical weaponry on the human body. The recent discovery of Bulgus Extendus has shown the possibility of psychochemical weapons as seen with the degeneracy that follows up inhaling the gas. The the dioxygen tungsten, also known as bulgus extendus, affects. Okay, yeah, I'm like I, I, I don't, this is like science shit. Like I, I don't know what all this says. Like I, I ain't reading all that. But that, that's that's good for you or tragic. I don't know which one. Monday, another day of working as a slave for the lab and serving as a test person. Mowing the lawn has never felt that exhausting up until now. My daily schedule? Well, I wake up at seven have a routine check and get injected in the next chemical the scientists want to test on me. Then I turn into a degenerate furry and do slave labor for breakfast, under observation of scientists. I usually come back to my senses around evening, but they use different chemicals every time, so sometimes it's even longer. I have only an hour at maximum between stopping to be a furry and going to bed. This one hour of precious free time in which I uh, don't plan my escape totally, I mean normal doing normal stuff like any other slave and writing in my diary all of this is really testing my wish to be a furry because it's technically fulfilled but technically is not the way i wanted it to be this reality rather tells me to go through myself tuesday after i woke up from being a furry i felt something in my pockets after being relieved it's not something degenerate i realized it's a letter so i waited until i was sure no one was seeing me and opened it and this is what i found S. Fisher, 21 Surrey Street. This is very interesting. I don't know why Furry self decided to keep that letter he found, but it's definitely an opportunity for something. I make sure I hid the next pages from the scientists. Besides, I know that that Dr. S. Fisher. She's leading the she's the leading scientist in the GAF lab. This could help me. All right. First of all, I'm not. I don't know what all this gibberish is talking about. Second of all, it's crazy how like 14 to 18 year olds put this together, and like you're like. 
doing nothing. You're just watching this video right now. Isn't that crazy? I'm just playing. I love you guys, but <laughs> I'm just joking. Wednesday. Oh boy, do I love being tested on doing senseless rounds around the yard. I'm definitely a furry while writing this. As you can see, I write the OWO. I also write the nuzzles. I'm not planning any attempt to escape the laboratory. OWO. Nuzzles. I'm hoping for another day of senseless testing. I love walking around yards and doing whiff like yiff like my fellow furry friends. I'm going to do the OWO again. OWO. Thursday. Alright, it's going to be one of the hidden pages again. I'm not sure if I was convincing enough writing as if I was a furry, but they looked like they bought it. So at least it's not going to be a problem. I've already decrypted about half the letter from Dr. S. Fisher. Showed him a new arrangement for the gas containers to make the building more secure. This knowledge could come really handy sometime. It gave me an idea. One thing I was also mentioned was the personal life of S.F. At first I thought it was skippable because I didn't have any relevant information. Then I realized she used to be a furry as well. Relatable. I know. I almost, I almost forgot to write about my own life. There's nothing interesting in it, just the same labor as yesterday. Job after job, syringe after syringe, life of the slave, to be short. Friday. I finished decrypting the letter. The second half consists of relatively unimportant information, except for the second last line. In that line, Dr. S. Fisher mentions she received an angry email by a certain F. Hefley, and then talks about how surprised anyone is still searching for me. After all, she writes that I'm just a freaking furry. I don't know what dad exactly dad wrote, but it seems to have been a very insulting email. I'm not gonna lie, I was also surprised he still searches for me. Maybe he even discovered I'm at the GAF laboratory. Could it be he misses me? Or maybe I'm having found out I'm at the lab, constantly getting injected by some sort of bulges extendus, probably struck a nerve on him. He is a closet furry after all, even if he denies it. Probably doesn't have the resources to help me email or not. I have to find a way out myself. Saturday. While I'm working on my plan, I heard some screaming coming from the lake near my area. I went through the fence and took a look. It's Dad. Out of all the people who could have tried to save me, it's him. And after that email, it was only an empty threat. Judging by the looks of it, it seems to have been a freak accident where he rammed this car boat into one of the lab piers. No idea how he managed to do that, especially considering he didn't even need, know how to cross the lake in the first place, or need to cross the lake in the first place. There are any GAF guards arresting him, but taking him to jail, not the lab. Sunday. I can now officially say I saved the GAF twice. But instead of a minor outpost, it was the laboratory. The second biggest GAF location after the main base. This time, the actual escaping part was a bit weird. However, I got my gas mask, broke every gas pipe, climbed over the fence with my the now dead guards, and sold the first car I saw on that dirt road near the highway. But unfortunately, there was one small thing I overlooked. It's a self-driving car and it has a pre-programmed destination. Well, crap. I'm currently on the highway instead of a route through the forest like I planned, which means my face is visible to everyone. I could stop the car while driving, but that would cause it to automatically call 911. So I have to wait until it arrives at its destination. Wait, I'm gonna look where exactly it's- Oh, it's Plainsville. Holy mother of bad luck. Monday. Finally arrived at Plainsville after spending hours trying to hide from the car windows as a desperate attempt to not be seen. I broke into some apartment which I assumed was empty, and it really was. As I'm writing, I'm currently closing all the windows to try not to be seen. This one includes never turning on the light, which means I have to do this all in the dark. Food will definitely be a problem, especially since I'm being hunted right now, so stealing from a grocery store won't be an option. I'm still exploring the empty building, with the exception of some rats and hobos, no one lives here. Thank goodness they can't read so they don't understand the wanted posters. Oh, it's already past midnight. Time to go to bed. Tuesday. Today I woke up to two things. One, some random dog that probably belongs to one of the hobos nearly murdered me while I was asleep. Two, I was nearly caught by the police. I just barely managed to hide behind a bookshelf while they were searching for me. I can provide an explanation for one and two. One is simply hobos not training their dogs properly. But two is probably because I was seen while I stole food from an apartment next to the empty one. How ironic, it's not even the first time stealing food gets me in trouble. I could call myself lucky the aggressive dog attacked the police, which distracted them and, they let me, and gave me time to hide. For the next days, I need to be even more careful to not get discovered, or else I'll die. Wednesday. I think I'm getting mad. Very mad. I went to bed. To bed. That I heard a weird crash. What's that crash? Where's that crash? I'm confused. I'm scared. I'm lonely. Am I getting mad? Am I even getting mad? Am I already mad? Am I? Am I? Another crash. Another crash. I just want to sleep. 
I just want to be happy. Why is there a crash? Am I imagining it? See, this is how I feel reading this book. I'm, I feel like I'm going mad, bro. I feel like I'm just losing my mind. Anyway, yeah. Bottom line is, Greg thinks he's going crazy. Thursday. I, I am sending cash to myself. Myself. It's a lot. Two dollars. Who may concern? This cash is from Greg Hatley, Surrey Street. Okay, this guy is tripping. Like, this whole page is just him tripping. I'm, I'm moving on. I'm trying to I'm trying to get this done, bro. Oh, and this guy got arrested, bro. Anyway, I read in the furry mag. Let's just see what it's saying, bro. I read in the furry magazine the JF laboratory staff got murdered. Is that true? Sans you. No, it's not. While one of the captured furries did successfully escape and try to gas the staff, he did not succeed in that. Our gas masks are located practically everywhere in the building and get checked every month. What's Ligma? By Peter G. Haha. <laughs> furry comrade arrested. Today has been a sad day for every one of us furry comrades. We mourn our murder who was declared as schizophrenic and hope our brothers won't fall at this for the same fate. fate. We know his cure wasn't effective. He's still like us inside. Okay. I'm not reading the rest of that. I'm sorry. Wanna G. Happily vandalizes were library. The furry community, well known in, in the furry, the in the furry community, well known as Greg Hefley, has been discovered after a long time of being the number one wanted furry in the states. He was no, diagnosed with new schizophrenic tendency and is currently being taken to an asylum. It assumed that he went for a long time without any outside contact. Friday, this is it. The final station of my train madness is fo of, of my train of madness following my hit on the head. I'll be in this rubber cell probably forever. They said I was in for attempted murder, which sounds fair to me, but I was also in for manic episodes following a long time of degeneracy. Yeah, they still don't believe me. I already managed to recover out of my mad phase. At least I could get high off the heavy meds they give me. Speaking of heavy meds, a cell neighbor of mine just had to write an apology after taking them, after after taking them due to having his head chopped, having chopped off the head of an asylum staff. Yes, chopped off with a regular knife. This summarizes this place perfectly. I will not murder because that makes the family of the guards very sad. That's a good apology. Saturday. This morning, the staff said some woman was here to visit me. Unsurprisingly, they were right. A few hours or days of me getting high off my meds messed up my sense of time. I got a knock on my cell door. Guess who it is? My dear diary. No, it's not, Mom. Not anyone else from the family either. Not one of the previous three friends, not even Holly. It's Dr. S. Fisher. Out of all people, it's her. What does she want to say? You uh, as a rhetoric ready may ask. To cut it short, she told me she had a top se some top secret information for me, but didn't specify what exactly. In two days, she'll visit me again. Wish me good luck. Sunday. I have this strange feeling. I know it's because of top, top secret information I'm going to receive or if it's just because of the drugs, but I feel like something big is going to end. My life? Maybe, but I don't feel suicidal. Be being in the asylum? Nah, I said something big. Maybe, maybe my long adventure's coming to an end. I remember when Rowley invited me to rain first on the day that started it all. He wasn't a furry himself, but he knew I was going to like it, and that was just enough for him to be content. If he didn't invite me to it, or just simply hit me on the head at rain first, then this entire inf adventure wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have realized I have multiple personalities. I wouldn't have been arrested by GAF. I wouldn't have been taken to the asylum, and most importantly, I wouldn't have desperately tried to be myself again. But now that I'm thinking about my early life, something doesn't quite add up. Something doesn't feel right. Monday. I'm not sure if I could even describe my emotions using the English language. Any, any language wouldn't cut it either. This, this changes everything. Everything. Just these two images change everything I ever thought I knew of myself. I am barely able to breathe as I am writing this, documenting reality. Gregory's sixth birthday party. Gregory's first day of middle school. These two images disprove every knowledge I had about my furry life. Was I born this way? No, no I wasn't. I was not a furry originally. I did not have furry, fr furry friends in my elementary school. Everything was a lie. A giant lie. And it was not them who I despised who undercovered the truth. Simply does not expect all of this when Fisher showed me the documents, just everything. Tuesday. I first wanted to write down a detailed explanation on how Fisher got me out of the asylum, or how I finally managed to find myself again while well, being myself, through being myself. But I think I'll just cut this short here. Sorry, future fans and journalists, but this will be my last page in this book. For now, it's the end. Okay, thank thank you. Thank you, please no more. I need to be in the, the same asylum Greg is after reading this. I know this wasn't my best reading, honestly. I, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm 
But this was like, like you, if you guys want to read like 69 pages of this hoot nanny, then I, I welcome you to. Actually, I don't because that, that I, I, I'd feel bad. I'd feel bad for you, but yeah, I'm done. I still have to edit this one hour long video and cut out all the stuff that'll just get me demonetized on YouTube. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, if this flops, I'm gonna be pretty pissed because this is just like an hour of my life I'm not getting back. And under other circumstances, or I at least enjoyed the book, um, I, I wouldn't be this. I I wouldn't be this upset. But um, yeah, hopefully this does good. Anyway, like and subscribe, and um. Yeah, I'm going to bed.